Sometimes when we hear the word declutter, it can feel overwhelming. You think, uh, excuse me, I don't have four hours to invest in decluttering right now, but I'm here to tell you decluttering doesn't need to take forever. In fact, you can hone your decluttering tasks down to very small chunks. You can give yourself a little bit of time and get quite a bit done. And the other thing about decluttering, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to haul a bunch of stuff out of your house. A lot of the times it just means you have to organize and figure out where things belong. Like we always say, everything in its place and a place for everything. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to take some big decluttering concepts, chunk them down and get it done in just a few minutes around your house. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like declutter with me videos. The first project I'm going to tackle is my makeup area. And the way that I have my makeup stuff organized is lips, eyes, face, hair, and hair. Yeah, there's a lot that has to go into this. So what I'm going to do is work drawer by drawer and pick out any of the items that I know I'm not using. And the trick with decluttering is don't give any item more than two seconds. The rapid fire action of decluttering helps you get through quickly. You make your decision based on a quick yes or no, and then you move on. So starting out, I've got my bins with lipstick. I'm just gonna pull them out, put them on my dresser and start sorting. My criteria for lip products is essentially how old is the product, does it smell off, and do I still like the color? And if I do, I'm keeping it. And if it's sort of old, I don't use the color anymore, it's going into the bye-bye pile. Okay, now clearly it's being fast forwarded, but I'm being pretty quick here. I'm looking at the color, I'm remembering when was the last time I wore this, and if it hasn't been for a while, I am just getting rid of it. There's no need for an ego here. Bye, if I'm not using it, it's going. To go through all of my lipsticks, it took me under three minutes, and in this container, I have the lipsticks that I actually use and I really like, rather than having to sort through and pick past those all of the time. And while I could be upset about the fact that I spent money on those, Clearly I'm not using them anymore, so whether I spent the money or not, it doesn't make sense for me to keep them. That's why it's so easy to move on from them. And now, I'll move on to my lip liners and then my glosses. Over the years, we've lived here for almost nine years now, we have managed to greatly slim down and organize our linen closet. And if I may say so myself, it looks fantastic. Except for this, which happens to be our box of light bulbs. And for whatever reason, Chad and I have this like anxiety about cleaning out this box because what if a light bulb dies and we need to replace it? We would just go into this box. But the thing is, we've gotten rid of a lot of light fixtures over the years. So today I'm actually just gonna kiss the frog and I'm gonna clean out this light bulb box for once and for good. So one thing I've noticed right off the top, and I'm fully comfortable with criticizing myself, is that um, there's a lot of stuff mixed into the light bulb box. So I've got command hooks, I have batteries, I have tea lights in here. So this has sort of become a catch-all, which is a classic breaking of the rule of everything in its place and a place for everything. So not only will I have to declutter this in the sense of getting rid of light bulbs I don't need, but I will also have to find the proper place for the items that are currently misplaced. I am so glad that I'm doing this because this box is representative of the classic junk drawer that we can run into in different areas of the home. And I guess this box has sort of become that. I didn't even know I had that package of command hooks, to be honest. I'm sure this is representative of some space in your home too. That rudimentary sorting that just took me a couple of minutes to do helped me establish this box, which is all the light bulbs that we are actually going to be using in our house. This box is a combination of stuff that's going to be disposed of as well as stuff that needs a new home. So in here, I know what I have to do and I'm just gonna pop this box right back in the linen closet. I don't typically advocate for decluttering other people's spaces and stuff only because you never know what you're getting rid of. But in this case, Chad's my husband. We've been married long enough now. I kind of know what this guy uses in his bathroom. And I know this is a bit of a sore spot for him. There's a very small space he's got to work with here. And he's a product guy. So as his wife, I'm gonna hook him up and I'm gonna do this. But I also wanna show you in a small space like a bathroom, we have to be very mindful of what we actually keep in here. So I'm gonna sort through, I'm gonna find any old products, half used products that I know he doesn't use anymore. 
or I'm going to bring things to the front that he's probably forgotten about. Isn't it fun to snoop around in other people's medicine cabinets? Oh my gosh. Well, guys, don't worry. There's nothing too interesting in Chad's. And that white looking thing, that's a neti pot. Nothing else. Don't worry. Just a quick scan in Chad's bathroom. I shook some bottles. I looked at expiration dates. I know some of the stuff that he doesn't use. I was able to clear out about 20% of the stuff in his bathroom. So now he has a bit more space. Clutter and mess in a bedroom is most likely caused by clothes, whether they're dirty clothes that you've thrown on the floor or a half kind of worn shirt that you could wear again, or you could just throw in the laundry again. Clothes are always in limbo around a room and it can really make the space feel messy. So my biggest recommendation and one of the things that helps reduce clutter and keep a room organized is having a really good laundry hamper. And look, I'm not necessarily saying you need the tri sorter, although you guys know I'm obsessed with the tri sorter. You just have to find a hamper that works for you, whether it's something that fits into your space stylistically, like a nice, wo like a nice woven bin. I said like a nice, that's not English. Or if it's something like a tri sorter or even a plastic hamper that fits into a corner in your space as long as you're going to use it and it helps keep clothes off the floor that's the best thing now some people will use this for lights colors and darks other people will use it for laundry towels linens husband wife kids however you choose to divide it it's up to you as long as your system works it's going to keep clutter off the floor there are a few places around your house that we consider here at the CMSHQ clutter black holes. And those are just areas where you have a whole bunch of random stuff in a space, you kind of shove it in there, you hope no one important ever looks in, in that space, but you know if you ever need something, you can probably root around and find it. Well, the cupboard under the sink happens to be one of those clutter black holes. Ours looks good-ish because I recently tackled this, but honestly, there is still more work to do. So I'm gonna go through, strip out the things I don't need and reorganize the things that I do. I like to keep my area under the sink fairly streamlined. I don't keep all of my cleaning gear under there. I just keep the things that are pertinent to the kitchen and sort of that main area. We also keep some pet supplies in there cause you know, our cats, uh, let's just say they have some issues. As I said, I had just spent a little bit of time reorganizing this space, so it's in pretty good shape, but you can see I still got rid of more. And one of the things that I noticed we did, which is a bad habit that I often try to dissuade people from doing, is buying things in multiples. So the key learning here for me, and maybe for you, is to not buy things in multiple. Use up what you have and then reorder or repurchase that stuff. I know my laundry room might be a little bit different from everyone else's, in that I get sent a lot of laundry products for obvious reasons, and I am a sucker for a good dryer ball or stain remover. However, sometimes things get a little out of control here, and uh, you can clearly see now we're sort of in that stage. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time decluttering all of my laundry products. Clearly, I have a lot of soap, stain remover, dryer balls, delicates bags, cloths, cleaners, and everything in between, so don't mind me. Having these bins in the laundry room is actually super convenient. The problem is when you fill them with things that you don't need. This is my dryer ball bin, as you can tell. I'm getting rid of some of the old ones, but the majority of them are actually quite useful. I mean, how many stains do people get these days? I clearly was over product, over producted up here in this laundry room. So glad that I got a chance to fix that. Even though I didn't get rid of too much stuff here in the laundry room, the stuff I did get rid of freed up space for everything else. I was able to get rid of some multiple products here on the Lazy Susan. There were some old broken products in there that I no longer needed. I do have some multiples, for example, dryer balls or delicates bags, but I need those because if I'm doing a load and it requires more of them, it makes sense that I have multiples. So that's that situation. But even just getting rid of the few things that I did makes the space feel that much more functional and that much more spacious. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, if you had 10 minutes to declutter one small space in your home, what would it be? Let me know in the comments down below. 
Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And if you want to learn more about Maker's Microfiber Cloths, you can click this button right over here. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.